Hey everyone, it's Goddess Puff and welcome to my channel. This reading is for the sign of Sagittarius. It is timeless. So whenever you watch this reading, it's when it is meant for you. Current energy reading for Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. This could have already happened, getting ready to happen, or it is happening now. This can resonate from the cross watcher's perspective. This could be happening to a friend, family member, someone close to you, someone you're dating. And there is no gender in tarot. We all have masculine and feminine energies within us. Now, for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node for Sagittarius spirit. What is going on with my Sagittarius? <laughs> Did I say that right? Sagittarius's. We have Castle. It's time for healing, not war. Number 30. All right, since we only have one, I'm going to read it. Because a lot of them, a lot of signs begin more than one. And I'm like, I don't want to keep people, you know, reading these things, even though they're not long at all. It's just like, you know. Castle. It's time for healing, not war. Don't burn something down to the ground unless you have a plan to build something better in its place. But it's too late for that, isn't it? You got angry, you pointed fingers, you called for war. And war was exactly what you got. Now that it's time for healing and reparations, what's your plan? You need to take the same initiative and determination you had when it started and figure it out. Never neglect your intuition. Now remember, Sagittarius, this could resonate for you or for the person you're thinking about. Cross watchers, perspective, whomever. Someone may have started something with you. You may have started something with someone. But now the dust has settled. Something got torn down. I wouldn't be surprised if the tower came out. Let's see. For Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node for Sagittarius Spirit. What messages do you have for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node? Current energy. What's going on with Sagittarius? Alright, and I'm going to cut. Well, you know, I'm just going to shuffle one more time. Ooh, I don't like the way that looks. Okay, I swear it's the last time. I could shuffle forever, but I swear it's the last time. <laughs> okay. So it's uh, for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node Spirit. What do you have for Sagittarius? Jesus. Ooh, we have the Seven of Wands reversed. So that flipped out. I don't know if you saw that on camera, but it flipped out and turned right around. Seven of Wands in reverse, and that's Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So, that could have very well been you who started something, Sagittarius. Whether it's the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or North Node, you may have started some conflict. Because the Seven of Wands upright is all about standing your ground. Or need to stand your ground. In reverse, you could be feeling backed into a corner, but all, it's all in your mind. It's like a you against the world type of thing with the seven of wands in reverse. We have the death card. The death card is all about death and rebirth. You could be dealing with the Scorpio or have Scorpio strongly in your chart, Sagittarius. But the death card is all about death and rebirth. Maybe of it's always in a spiritual overall sense for me when you get the death card. It's like a great ending to something, a permanent change to something. I mean, maybe an aspect of you, a relationship of some sort. But it's a death and rebirth because when there's endings, there are always new beginnings and vice versa. And we have the five of pentacles. Someone feeling left out in the cold. It could be you wanting to go it alone. Because you see someone swimming up to them, this person, trying to offer them these five pinnacles. And they're shutting them off, closing their eyes, covering their face, not wanting any help. So you may be feeling like it's you against the world, Sagittarius. 
but you have help here. Or someone may have started something with you and now they want to try to come back in and fix it. There could have been some type of argument and you felt back into a corner. Maybe there's a need for you to stand up for yourself or for the cross watcher. And it can also be, you know, sometimes we get into this mode where, you know, we feel alone. We feel like everyone's against us. We feel down and out. And it's time for that aspect of you to change. Let's get some more on this for Sagittarius. We have the Nine of Cups, which is wish fulfillment. It's also water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Could be dealing with one of those signs. I don't know if I named the Earth sign Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn as well. What else for Sagittarius? One more card for Sagittarius spirit. What else is going on with Sagittarius? Your wish fulfillment could be help. Oh, that was three more. Spirit got a lot to say to you. Overall energy is the three of swords, which talks about heartbreak. So someone could have definitely done this to you. May have started a war with you in some way, shape, or form, an argument. I get the feeling that some truth was spoken or some mean, harsh words were said maybe during the heat of a moment. Maybe this person felt like they had to have their guard up with you. Maybe someone got hurt in the past. And now they feel guarded towards every situation, every new person. Which is no judgment. I've been there. I'm pretty sure we all have been there in some way, shape, or form. And then we have the Queen of Swords, which is someone who thinks with their head, you know. They no small talk with the Queen of Swords. They put their emotions aside to make the decision that's best for them. They don't waste time. They don't let anyone waste their time. If they feel like someone's trying to play them, they will cut them out. Whether it be with words or just blocking them. They waste no time removing time wasters. And then we have the Eight of Cups. And as you can see in this card, this man is sleeping while this woman leaves behind all those eight cups and goes, swallows the moon home. So this could be you leaving behind someone you love that is no longer making you happy. Something you love that is no longer serving you in some way, shape, or form. Having, again, today it seems like the theme is making head over hard decisions. Who, as a collective... But for you, Sagittarius, you could be leaving someone that you love. It could be an air sign. We have the star here, which is also Aquarius. So maybe it's time to walk away from a situation and heal. It could have been, again, a fight broke out with you or someone. Someone may have started it with you. You may have started it with them. Someone may have felt, again, I get this sense of someone felt backed into a corner. Or a, a group of people might have ganged up on you. You may have been feeling this way for a long time. It's you against them. And I get the sense that your wish fulfillment may be for someone to offer you some type of help. Maybe someone wishes to offer you some type of help. Or maybe you want to go it alone and stand your ground. You've probably been in a relationship where there's been more fighting than there is love these past few years, maybe, for you. And it's probably time to speak your truth, stand your ground, and walk away from this situation and heal yourself. I definitely... Whatever situation that you're in, I get the sense that it's time for you to walk away from this situation that's hurting you, whether it's for the moment to step away and calm yourself down and heal yourself, or if it's permanently to walk away. But let's get some clarification and get into this. Whew. For Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. The overall energy is Three of Swords, so it's heartbreak, you know. 
which is heartbreaking because you love this person. This person may have broken your heart and it's time for you to walk away because this is not wish fulfillment. Your wish fulfillment could be to walk away and heal on your own. Let's see. Four Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. There's been some very serious messages today. All right, so let's get into this. And there's the death card again. So you could be definitely dealing with the Scorpio. Doesn't have to be. But let's clarify the Seven of Wands reverse. Why is the Seven of Wands in reverse here? We have the Eight of Pentacles. So someone could be working overtime, I get a sense. Working overtime, trying to fight off someone, feeling defensive all the time. Clarify the Seven of Wands. Could be a work situation. Maybe it's this job you've been in for a long time. And you're ready to go off on your own, but you could be worried about finances. So let's see. We have the three of pentacles. So you could have been working hard to make something work or someone could have been doing that with you. But you could have been for a very long time trying to gather the gather yourself up, gather your strength to put in the work to make the situation work. You could be having to do that now after this blow up again someone could be doing that with you you may have had a big fight with someone and now they're putting in the work to bring this back together or you could be going away to heal and do that with someone else clarify the death card for sagittarius we have the ten of pentacles so you could be, and the Ten of Pentacles is all about communal wealth and legacy. It could be an inheritance or just something abundant, so much overflowing that you can pass it down and pass it around to friends and family. It doesn't always have to be money. It could be anything. But there's a change to that. Maybe something you thought was your Ten of Pentacles is changing. You're changing your view of it. Or you're changing your idea of what communal wealth looks like to you. Clarify the death card. We have the Ace of Cups. So, where there is endings with the death card, there's always new beginnings. Like I said. So, you could be who? Putting an end to an old situation that was financially fulfilling but not emotionally fulfilling. You could be starting something new that is very abundant and fulfilling. Let's keep going. You could be working very hard towards your Ten of Pentacles. And you may have just found a team or you were going to find a team that is very, you're able to work with. It's very smooth. Like, I just want to do this. Like, maybe you want to move to a calmer situation with someone or you found someone you can move well with. Maybe in the past, things went this way for you with this person or job or whatever. Things worked well together, you were working hard together, you were a team and somehow things went badly. So let's clarify this five of pentacles. Feeling left out in the cold lap. Five of Pentacles. We have the Five of Cups. So this is all about disappointments of the past. You could be disappointed about a past situation, how it turned out, a past business endeavor. Because there's a lot of Pentacles here. You could have been dealing with an Earth sign, Sagittarius, or have it strongly in your chart. Hmm. So I get that. You're disappointed for how you were left out in the cold. Or how you left someone out in the cold. Or someone's disappointed about how they did that to you. But this is someone or something you've dealt with before. Or maybe for a very long time. And, whew. 
you used to work well together. You used to be a great team until one of you felt backed into a corner. And there was a big argument, a blow up. And feelings were hurt. Clarify the five of pentacles for Sagittarius. Five, that is such a mess. Okay, well, I'm just going to take this that fell out and this one that's stuck at the bottom. <laughs> so we have the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. I am hearing the Adele song. We could have had it all. <laughs> and I got the sun. So this could be, you could be dealing with a Leo Sagittarius. This could be coming together during Leo season because we're in Leo season now. But the sun talks about warmth, radiance, love, joy. All things happy. It's the happiest card of the tarot, so they say, you know. And it's also about illumination. Maybe you or someone else is looking back in the past and realizing that because they were so defensive, they pushed away their true love or their friends or a partner of some way, shape, or form that you worked well together with. Someone may have pushed you away and they're heartbroken realizing that. And they want to fix it. Or someone may feel that way with you, Sagittarius. They're disappointed. They're looking back and disappointed about how they were pushing you away because they were hurt in the past. I'm definitely getting that type of vibe from this reading. You may have worked with this person, started a business with this person, dated this person. It could be a family member or a friend. But you used to work with them or date them, you know, Work can be anything. You don't have to be at work with someone, but like worked with them in some way, shape, or form. Y'all could have worked well together. And you saw the Ten of Pentacles. You saw great wealth and abundance of money and love and warmth. And someone may be looking back and realizing that they had all that with you, or you could be looking back and realizing you had all that with someone. Now clarify the Nine of Cups, which is wish fulfillment. We have... The Seven of Wands. So you could be very defensive. You could have been a little overprotective about this person. Or defending yourself, maybe. Someone was very defensive in protecting their Nine of Cups. Or maybe there's a need to be someone wishes to be. Someone wants to stand up for themselves and fight for this. Or something that they probably did not stand up for in the past. Maybe you let someone else take credit for a job that you did. That you worked hard for. <clears throat> but let's see. Nine of Cups. Oh, that's so many. That's too many. That's too many. Clarify the Nine of Cups for me, please, Spirit. Oh, okay. We have the Eight of Wands. This is fast-paced movement. This is fire energy. Aries Leo Sagittarius. So, this could be you, Sagittarius. You could be going after something, after a strong realization. Maybe you realize this person is your happiness. Maybe you realize you could have it all with this person. Or maybe they realize they could have it all with you. Or someone from your past wants to come in and realizing that you are their wish fulfillment, Sagittarius. They wish to come in and send you messages letting you know that they are their Ten of Cups and it has been illuminated to them. But you're guarded. You're very guarded. Maybe someone wishes that you put your defenses down and let them come back in because they feel left out in the cold. Or vice versa, make that fit how it fits. But there's a message coming in about a wish fulfillment, a Ten of Cups. And someone is very guarded about that. Queen of Swords. Okay. Seemed like everything wanted to come out. It was kind of turned down, but I'm going to put it up like this. We have the Two of Pentacles. Earth energy. It could also be juggling or choice. Juggling two choices. A decision needs to be made or someone trying to create balance in a situation. We have the Ace of Wands. Aces are the seed to each suit. So, the Ace of Wands is all about fire and passion and new beginnings. And it's also creative energy, creative expression. So, someone could be juggling how to express themselves, how to express their feelings. 
And we have the Seven of Cups, water energy. So you could have a lot of options or this person you're dealing with could have had a lot of options and made and chose someone else and left you out in the cold or you could have chose someone else and left someone out in the cold. But someone definitely had options and someone got left out in the cold and that left someone heartbroken. There was definitely competition. And I get that this person may have left you out in the cold and now they want to come back because they realize their mistake. And you could be very defensive now and rightfully so. But let's clarify this Eight of Cups. Clarify this Eight of Cups. Six of Cups. So this is definitely someone from your past. The Six of Cups is all about nostalgia, the past. It could be past life, and it can also be children involved. But in the past, you may have walked away from someone you love and chose someone else. You wanted your wish fulfillment. Or maybe you're having to do this now, Sagittarius. Or someone may have done this to you. Eight of Cups. Clarify the Eight of Cups one more time for me, please, Spirit. The moon, you could be dealing with a Pisces, or there could be a hidden aspect to this. Maybe someone secretly wants to walk away, or someone secretly walked away from this in the past. One more time for the Eight of Cups for me, please, Spirit. Oh, that's so many. I'm just going to take the two that flipped over, which is the Six of Swords. And I kept wanting to do this. I don't know if I kept smoothing the table because the Six of Swords is all about moving from rough waters to calmer waters, letting go and moving forward. So it's the need to let go of this situation from the past because there's something hidden. There's secrets or there could be shadow work involved. Or it could also be a Pisces. But it is a need to walk away from something from the past. Maybe it's time to leave the past conflict behind in some way, shape, or form. But you're going from the eight to the nine. And maybe you've already gone and walked away from someone you love that wasn't serving you. And now you have your wish fulfillment and you're defending that at all costs. But it seems like someone wants to offer you an apology. Maybe you want to offer someone an apology. If someone wants to come in and apologize for past actions, how things went, clarify the star. Someone wants to heal this. That's too many. That's way too many. Half the deck fell out, Sagittarius. Clarify the star for Sagittarius. Clarify the star. Judgment. Didn't want to go back in. So, judgment, it could be a Scorpio, Cancer, or a fire sign. You're dealing with Sagittarius. <clears throat> but... Judgment is all about revisiting situations from the past, getting a second chance at something from a higher viewpoint with more experience. So, something you've been through, again, in the past, past situation. You're getting a chance to heal this situation or someone's getting a chance to heal this with you. Now clarify the star one more time for me, please, spirit. The high priestess, you could be dealing with a Pisces, but clarity is being reached in this situation. Again, someone may be having to make a head over heart decision. As you can see, the, the high priestess is all about mental clarity, the third eye crown chakra, knowing your message, mentally receiving the message. Someone is clear on something. Someone has made some startling realization and clarity about their past actions. And they want to start again, something new, the fool. Number zero, first card of the deck. So there's a lot of heartbreak in the past, a lot of pain dealing with this person or situation. And someone wants to heal this. <clears throat> or someone just wants to heal themselves. They're making a judgment to walk away from this. And whether you decide to heal it with this person or go it alone. Your wish fulfillment is to leave this past situation behind and let go. Someone does want to make amends. Someone from your past. You could have walked away from them and they want to come in and heal it with you. Maybe they hurt you. 
and you left them rightfully so and they want to come in and apologize or vice versa. But someone <clears throat> is realizing who or what their Ten of Cups and Ten of Pentacles really was or is. And that's been illuminated to them. And they want a new beginning and they want to heal this and they want a fresh start. But let me get you one more Oracle card message to leave you off with Sagittarius. Whew. These energies are strong. So I'm always like going huh, in every reading because I be feeling these readings in my heart chakra, my soul. Energies are strong. But someone definitely wants to communicate that they are sorry. So let's get that last oracle message for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. For Sagittarius. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and north node. All right, spirit. What message do you want to leave Sagittarius with regarding the situation? Whew. Sagittarius. I'm going to have to meditate after this. What message do you want to leave Sagittarius with? Oh, that may be too many. I hope it's just two. So we have... Stars, you can manifest your every wish. Number five, and you had the nine of cups, wish fulfillment. I told you. Someone is realizing what their ten of cups, ten of pentacles is. Phoenix, how's that for a happily ever after? Number nine. So, <clears throat> you're creating your own happily ever after. Or maybe someone could have been telling you what that was. And you're like, no, I'm going to make it how I want to. I'm going to get my wish fulfillment. And how's that? But let me read what the book says instead of putting my own twist on it. So, stars, you can manifest your every wish. It's time for you to take your goals and turn them into your reality. Create that dream board. Wish on those shooting stars. Write in a daily manifestation journal. Cast a small or large spell. The universe is waiting to give you exactly what you deserve, given that it's best for everyone involved. Keep in mind that you also need to believe that you deserve it, Sagittarius. All right, and then we're going to do number nine. Phoenix, how's that for a happily ever after? No matter how hopeless you may f be feeling at this moment, know this. You can and will survive whatever trials you've been put through. From the ashes of the past, you shall create a storybook ending filled with beauty and resilience. All future flames will cower when they hear the whisperings of your name. Wow, Sagittarius. That's a nice, both very nice messages to end off with. Food for thought. All right, Sagittarius, enjoy the rest of your day. And if this reading resonated with you, please don't forget to give me a like, comment, subscribe, or share. All right, bye-bye.